Todd, what was your, your take on the game tonight? Well, I mean, it is what it is. Um, we, we came out um, and, and we knew that they were going to come, uh, and they did. And, and we, were, we were a couple steps behind the pace. Um, and I think at the fourth, uh, Stewie and I looked at each other and uh, we called a timeout um, and gave him a bit of boot in the ass. And, um, and we responded well. We came back and scored two shorthanded goals, 4-2, and we're back in it. We scored the third. Uh, you know, a Nicker, I think somebody tipped it. It went in, we scored the third, and we were rolling. Uh, and then we lost Reber, and things got a bit scrambly. Um, and I, I think we just lost our composure a bit. I think all night, like, there would have been about four or five goals we'd definitely want back on any given night. I think defensively we were weak. And I think a lot of that comes down to physical tiredness. Uh, guys clearly aren't in game shape. I mean, they, they, they laid it on the line last night. And then they came in, they looked tired right off the bat. And, and when, when you're physically tired, uh, the mental mistakes creep in. And there was definitely, um, y you know, six or seven glaring errors out there tonight that we just normally don't make. And, and, and they were getting picked apart a little bit. Uh, we tried a couple things, um, a few different guys in different positions. Um, just, just address the guys. And we're trying to take the positives out of it. I think the... We, we killed off uh, uh, big swaths of, of five on three, which which is a real positive for us, especially with that, you know, the bigger neutral zone. There's there's a lot more room out there. Um, guys can get lost, but the, the PKA was was really good all weekend. Um, and uh, you know, we got five more days to, to tune up here. And uh, you know, I've mentioned all along that uh, it, it's Coventry that we got our eye on, and uh, and that's uh, we're just going to have to to fix a few things and make sure these guys are in good shape. What are the players going to have to do this week to, to get in good shape? Oh God, I mean, we just we'll just up the in intensity level in, in uh, practice. But this these two games will go a long way to to help in their game shape. Um, you know, they'll recover fast. We'll we'll take them into a few off ice things. I don't want to overwork these guys because I don't want them exhausted come weekend. But um, you know, we got a few things to work on, and uh, and uh, so I think that was. It's never positive when you lose, but it, it's good to to see how these guys will respond to to losing the game. Uh, with the bigger offensive zone, how do you think that's going to affect the team over the course of the season? Well, it's a number of things. I, I had a I had a couple discussions on the bench there that um, you, you know normally in the neutral zone you got a little bit of space, but all of a sudden you're you're in your zone and uh, it, it, it's a, it's an adjustment. It definitely is. Uh, we, we thought it was going to be a bigger adjustment to our PK, but that. Funnily enough, the one area we were worried about um, really kind of came up uh, well for us this weekend. So there's a lot more space out there. You can see that, uh, you know, a guy can get lost, a player can get lost out there, and you can get yourself in a little bit of trouble. But, uh, ah, you, you know, time will tell. We'll see how uh, the it works with the league. Uh, Kevin yeah. Regan, after the third goal went off uh, to the dressing room, that was to do, to do with these skates? Yeah, he had a... Right, right off the bat, he knew there was uh, an issue with the skate. We had Blair to, prepared to come off or, or go on with three minutes left in the period. He was going to need a bit extra time to get all his kit off and, and, and that. But after the third goal went in, uh, made a decision to get Blair in there immediately and just get it sorted. Um, he came back. We threw him back in there. And uh, and uh, you, you see in the second period, I mean, Kevin kept that second period respectable. We were on those five on threes and he made a couple big saves for us. Uh, third period, we left him high and dry. Uh, there might be one or two that he wants back, but there's you can't be you know you can't be leaving the middle open. We gave up a couple breakaways and uh, you know we had a forward play in DE and um, but it's all good learning curve for us and uh, you know we'll take a lot of positives from the game. And uh, Matt Rebirth thrown out the game. How did you see what happened to him? Yeah, I mean it was a collision. I think. I think there's, um, they were discussing on the ice about uh, incidental uh, you know, collision and stuff like this, and I guess the guy was, uh, was cut pretty bad. Um, so I don't know if they, they seen the play develop. Uh, I mean, the way we seen it was those two were kind of skating to an area and they collided. Um, Matt Reber is probably could win, you know, gentleman of the gentleman of the year in the league, you know, so there was, there was absolutely no malice in it. Um, I think they assessed the, 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 
they might have caught the tail end of it, uh, assessed the, the blood on the ice and, and, and made a decision right there. But it was a big loss for us. I just finally, given the win last night and the positives from tonight's game, are you feeling good going into the next week against Coventry? Yeah, I mean, I feel a little bit on a, on a downer right now. Um, it's been a long time since we've lost in this building, and uh, and it was it was a little heavier than we certainly would have liked to. Um, but I I am. I mean, w- what'll happen is th- we'll regroup this week. Uh, I thought that was a great game last night. I think that uh, the guys will be a lot better prepared. Um, it's a little bit of a different style in our, our league, um, and, and I think we match up well. And uh, and the guys know, uh, they get a lot of pride in that room, so they want to come back and uh, emphatically stamp the, the start of the season off with a couple wins, and uh, we're hoping uh, we get four points out of the first weekend.